Hi, welcome to another episode of On the Front Line uh, at Dr. Allen L.A. Today we're going to talk about immunity testing. As the community now is starting to go back to work, you've heard several laws regarding how people should transition back into work. One of the laws are stating that everyone within the job must show they either have immunity or must show they don't have the disease or must be tested to see if they're in process of having the disease and not allowed to work until they have passed that time frame of spreading the disease. So we've already seen multiple um, nasal swabs regarding positive or negative coronavirus, which actually says you either have disease or you don't have disease. Now I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of immunity testing. Immunity testing now has two levels. What you've seen a lot is the finger stick and now there's the complete blood draw. I'm going to actually give you information regarding both. The first one and the most accurate is the blood draw which shows 99.6% accuracy. It has two immune or uh, immunoglobulin assays or immunoglobulin levels for testing to say that you are truly positive or truly negative. There are some cases where it has shown that individuals are starting to develop the disease. This test starts with the immunoglobulin A, also known as IgA. IgA measures the blood level of the immunoglobulin A, which is the most common antibody in the body. This antibody is a protein uh, within the system that help fights off bacteria, viruses, and toxin. That's a very important immunoglobin. It's the first one to go to war for you in terms of fighting a disease. Any person with an elevated IgA have experienced an acute reaction, which means the disease just happened. The second test for, Im for immunity and the, and the most potent one for immunity is called IgG. This is the immunoglobulin G, which is the most common antibody in your blood and other body fluids. This protects against bacterial and viral infection. It takes time to form and this is the one that signifies true immunity. This shows that immunity testing is the new way that employers are using to bring their employees back to work as we zoom in and get a close up of the blood work that you see on the countertop. Immunity testing will define if the employee was infected and developed immunity or never had disease in the first place. Now, the blood work that you're seeing is actual test samples from individuals who we've tested for immunity testing. This actual information here shows a person who has no immunity as both the IgG and IgA are on the same side and no abnormalities are seen. Remember, abnormality detects the actual IgA or IgG. As we go into our second set of blood work, notice the IgA is the one that's elevated and IgG is the one that's still normal. In this picture, you're looking at a person who is just developing the coronavirus. Remember, IgA is your initial response enzyme. IgG takes time, and it's because of the time it shows you that you develop immunity. Remember, if they both are in the abnormal section versus IgG and IgA, both in the abnormal section, that means you have immunity. Here was a quick example of a finger stick immunity test only testing for IgG 
IgG by itself develops, shows you have immunity. Notice quickly, this is a quick finger stick for immunity, testing IgG only. And now I'm going to demonstrate drawing my own blood and allowing you guys to see, do I have immunity? And hopefully I do, um, and do I have the disease? And hopefully we pass that point. As a lot of the audience have seen me dealing with the coronavirus for a pretty long time. Again, immunity testing is the idea for getting your getting your employees back to work. Uh, it's also the, 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 best, the best procedure ever for allowing yourself to see if you do or do not have the actual illness. Please, please remove that tip for me. Thank you. Then you remove that top piece. Okay, perfect. Let me see, am I any luck in getting a good vein? As I go in. The results for the immunity test usually takes approximately 24 hours. There are some days where it may take longer, depending on the amount of specimen. And she can stop doing it, please. We can stop there. And then we can actually have the results back. Now you can take a knee another thing. Perfect. And we'll have the results back in approximately uh, 24 hours. Again, thank you for watching another episode of On the Front Line at Dr. Allen LA. I hope these videos is educational and I hope these videos are rewarding.